So, okay, hello. I, for some reason, feel a little bit nervous for this. I don't know why. Or maybe I know why. I don't know. Um, hey, today I am back with a new video. And today I am back. I... We can talk about it a little bit later. Today I am doing a first impression Get Ready With Me again. Because I have the Nomad palette, the Oriental Express. This is just the box. This is the palette. And I've been looking forward to owning this for such a long time. I bought it on Black Friday. I have it. I'm going to use it. So, if you don't know, this palette is... I didn't know this. It is a velvet. I don't know if you can see. And then it is one of their... It's 18 pants. I almost said 15, but it's an 18 pan palette and it looks like this. So this is kind of a neutral palette, but it is just something about this that makes me want to use it. And I am going to do, I think a green and gold look, but with like a natural crease. Neutral, natural, I don't know, but I think. And I'm just going to start with something pretty light, I think, in my crease. And then I'm going to, I think, take the matte green. So I think I might start with this one and then take this one. So I haven't been super gone from YouTube because I think it was a little over a week ago. On New Year's Eve, I put up um, Get Red With Me, and that Get Red With Me, I did record like two weeks earlier, because if you haven't been on my community tab, I got sick, I did get the virus, so I was sick for a little bit. Like two weeks, I had a fever for 12 days and I also did cough a lot. I have some, like, my voice isn't back to normal and I still cough a little bit, but I'm not like sick anymore. Uh, so I've gone back to work, I worked three days, and uh, yeah, I still feel a little bit like my stamina is not back to normal. Like the two stairs I have to go up to get to our apartment. Jesus. So yeah, I got sick. I didn't record a video the day I got sick. It was the 20th and uh, so I was sick Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. But we didn't have any plans so we had planned to just be home at Christmas and on New Year's but we didn't plan for me to get sick. My boyfriend, he did not get sick. Um, we don't know if he maybe got sick, but he didn't have any symptoms, but he wasn't sick and... But he still was at home. We shopped food online, his sister bought some things for us, so we were isolated for like two weeks. And that was hard. Okay, I don't want this to be a corona video, so I don't know, maybe I shouldn't talk about it more, but... Now I'm starting to get back and uh, the only thing, I didn't need to go to the hospital or the doctor or anything, but like the only thing that I haven't read about, like my mental health during when I was sick, it was really really hard. That was like the hardest thing because I just wanted to give up. I Maybe I sound a little bit overdramatic, I know, but it was just... 
I told my boyfriend like I don't want to do this anymore. I am so tired of being ill and I do not want to do this anymore. And I'm so thankful for my boyfriend. He did everything for me. So that what that is what I have been up to these. I haven't filmed for three weeks almost. So it feels a little bit strange to be back. It feels a little bit strange to speak English. It feels actually a little bit strange. Do you have a makeup on? But yeah. And I don't know the lighting. I am planning on buying a ring light. And uh, I haven't just got there yet. And about my third one days of red. As you may understand, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And first, I was like, okay, maybe I can power through, but like, no. It feels a little bit like hard that I didn't make it, but at the same time, I was sick, so I couldn't. And also, I. It was actually really hard. To try to do this for one days. For you who doesn't have a YouTube channel, you maybe are like, what is hard about it? But it felt like I lost my connection with you and like with my channel. It maybe sounds really strange to say that, but pre I came to the conclusion that pre-filming for like a long time while the head is not my thing because I like lose the connection to what I have filmed so pre-filming far for ahead it is not my thing and now I know that okay it's now I have the Tokyo Harajuku palette from Nomad the thing I'm missing in that one is to get like dark dark look so I think I might go in with Because I want to take this one and this one on my lid, but I think I might. Did you even see that? <laughs> these two on my lid? But I don't know if I maybe should go in with this because this feels a little bit like coal toned. So I think I will go in with this, but that is not super dark. But maybe I could at least try. And if you have seen my. Get ready with me where I talked a little bit about this year. I am going to upload whenever I can. I am trying, I'm going to try to do this without a schedule. Okay, I don't think this is dark enough, but I don't have much of a choice. Um, I'm going to try to just upload when I feel like and record when I feel like. The only thing I'm a little bit afraid of is that it's not going to come up in the videos. But we don't know yet. I guess we just have to wait and see how it will work and I just need to get back to my normal self. I'm not quite there yet. I'm getting there, but I'm not quite there yet. And I've been thinking if I'm going to have any New Year's resolutions for this year and... I just want to be nicer to myself. I don't want to push myself so hard. And... Um, I think that is like the only thing I want to do for myself this year, not to push myself and like not be hard like <clears throat> on how I look um, and on my body. I don't like my body, I just don't, I'm not happy with it. but. I have put this body through so much shit and 
it still works and I'm really happy about that so I'm going to try to be nicer to myself this year I think I said it last year as well and I don't know how that did go but 2020 it was just like a shit it was a shit um, not only for me but like for the whole world but obviously all the thing with the virus and the pandemic but also we lost our two cats and it was really really hard we got two new cats last year but and I love them but it's if you have pets and you haven't lost any pets yet be prepared because it's going to be hard and uh, that is just how it is and we lost one of the cats in the end of January last year and the other one in the end of October or in October and so the year didn't start out good like at all so I really hope that this year will be better and I'm also I didn't thought it was going to affect me that much but I didn't see my fam family like at all last year because my parents are older and uh, you, you are not supposed to travel like inside of Sweden either but now when I have had the virus I got what is the English word like I can't get it again and I can't like um, it's more safe for me to see my parents so that's makes me a little bit happy and also like the vaccine has come to Sweden and yeah I'm going to wait to vaccinate myself because I already have got it and uh, I can't you know get it antidote no it's not that word I watched so much hospital series, but it's called Antikroppar in Sweden, Swedish in Sweden, in Swedish, and I'm going to have them for six months, so, yeah. Okay, I didn't want to have this video, like, only on my sickness, but it ended up like that. Okay, if we talk a little bit about the makeup, I don't know what I think. This, I would wanted a darker one and I think I should have taken the shimmer green and then the matte brown, but it still works. And it feels like I've forgotten about how to put on makeup. Yeah, and also I are I are I am in my no buy as for right now, and it has it's the ninth today I think, and I haven't bought a single thing. Okay, I've been have I have been in quarantine for like a week for this year, so maybe that isn't that strange. <laughs> but so far I haven't feel felt the urge to buy something. I have bought one thing that is for my makeup but that is not makeup I bought a little cart so I can have in front of me like a little table haven't got it yet because a friend for me bought it on Ikea and I think that is the only thing that I bought this year except for food and so far the urge isn't there but, yeah, it has gotten nine days. 
And if you haven't seen my get my latest video that also was get read with me, I'm going to have a no buy in for three months and then I will see how I do if I will continue or if I will um just have a no buy or not. No, low buy. We will see. And I think now in the beginning of this year, I've talked a lot about that I want to use what I already have in my collection. But now in the beginning, it's going to be a lot of first impressions. Because they were supposed to be in December. But what happened happened and I still want to do first impressions with them. Maybe not all of them, maybe some of the palettes I do like I get rid with me like I'm doing now. But I have like one, two, three, four, and like almost ten palettes that I haven't used yet on my channel. So, but that is like things that I bought a long while back. Okay, do you know what? It feels like this has taken such a long time and... These are, this palette is different from the Nomad, from the Toki Harajuku palette because that is like a pastel palette and it's got duochromes and satins, multichromes and satins and this is more like normal shades so that is a little bit different and yeah. Okay, so the only thing I feel is the shade I have out here isn't as dark as I wanted it to be. But I think I could build it up quite much. So I am going to take away the fallouts. I fix my base. Should I do my base with you? I don't even know if I have so much more to talk about. Do I? Maybe do not. We will see. Maybe I put on my foundation and then we can do like the contour stuff and the stuff like that. So my foundation and my brows maybe. And then we can do the contour blush and highlight together. We will see. So I did got stuck in a podcast. So this happened off cam. I'm going to do my under eyes and I just think that I want to go in with the green that I had in my crease, so uh, this one, but I don't know. I might like take the same I had in my crease, the first shade, just to blend this out. I will see how dark this looks, or how it looks with only this first. Do you, do you see this? I can't wait to get my little table or my little cart so I can have hopefully a little bit more order when I'm filming and I want to do something about the background but right now I have no idea what I want to do so I guess I just have to look like this for a little bit. I excuse my little confuseness in this video. But it's just I really want to just come into the YouTube like filming and editing. But it's I said when I came back to work it was like the fever has fried my brain out. It feels a little bit like that sometimes because I feel a little bit stupid. And maybe I feel a little bit stupid right now, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I think this is actually enough and I just want to go in with this one and take it in my inner corner. Or do I want to take that one? 
Okay, I think I will take or because this one is like has a is like has a um pink shift to it. Okay, I will go in with this one instead. And I I need to cut my nails as well. Haven't I done anything when I've been sick? I have not. So I'm taking a brush and I'm not spraying it. And like that feels like the only thing that I miss buying. I want to be, buy makeup brushes. I don't know why because I have a lot and I did declutter my makeup brushes not that long time ago but it's just like I want more. So okay I'm going to take something in my wash line. Maybe something la light. <clears throat> Maybe something light or green. Okay, I need to. Maybe something light or green and put on mascara. And I actually think that I will take a new red lipstick. So as you see, it's not a red lipstick. I, I bought this one. This is Colourpop Luxe Velvet in Take a Bow. It felt like it just spread out, so I took it away and I took Riot from Lime Crime instead. And on my waterline I took Gacha from LA Girl. So this is... I'm losing my slipper. This is the finished look and my first impression with the Oriental Express from Nomad. I'm going to go crazy with the front of this because it's going to be so hairy with two white cats at home. But other than that, I don't see how many shades I've used. Um, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So I like the shades I used. I used these two shimmers. They worked real good with just my eyeshadow base. I used this in my inner corner. Nothing special. Uh, I used this in my crease at, fir at first. First, it it worked on my skin tone. I think though it would be better if I would take this, but it worked, nothing, no problems. This green I also used in my crease and underneath my eyes. It worked really good. And this brown I used to deepen down my crease. I think it would be better if I would have taken the shimmer first and then take this because I don't... I don't know. I think it would be better if I just would have deepened it down and not like taking it first. But yeah. I think this is different from the Tokyo Haruyuku palette. I can actually show you that one. Maybe. <coughs> it's this one that looks like this. So this is a pastel. Um, these are mattes, these are satins, and these are multichromes. And this I can't work with as I work with other palettes. Because it is a little bit different. But this one, it felt like a normal eyeshadow palette. See, I like it, and I think there might be some duochromes. I think this is a duochrome, and might this one, and this one has to be a duochrome. So yeah, Ooh, this looks amazing. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but that shade looks amazing. So I want to play more with this and I'm going to play more with my collection that I have now this year. I don't know what this was for kind of video. I I always think it's hard when I haven't filmed for a while and haven't been like on YouTube. Okay, I'm just going to take away all the swatches I have. Because it's hard to come back. I don't know why but it has to be done so yeah. So I hope that you will stick with me this year. I am, videos are going to come when they're going to come. I am going to do some favorite 
for I'm at least going to do my eyeshadow palette favorites for 2020 because it didn't came to that but I want to do that because I have loved some palettes last year so so much um, but other than that we will just have to wait and see where this is going I will and you will see I hope I will figure this out <laughs> just now it feels like I don't know everything feels so I, I'm just feeling a bit confused and I do I look like this with makeup like I haven't even had eyebrows for like two and a half weeks so this feels what um, but yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I really hope that you will stay with me and I am going to end this video now because I don't know what this is. I'm going to eat some food because it feels like my energy level is really low. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!